since we've seen each other, isn't it? <laughs> Good heavens. Okay, uh, I just wanted to, before we start this video, I need to say, um, I have given up doing my journalism. I've totally given up journalism. Long story, but I don't really want to make journalism videos anymore. If you'd rather I did, I can, but I'm not going to. So if there's anything you else you want me to do, I, I'm open to suggestions. Like, um, I'm still going to do my Doctor Who reviews for people who like them. And today, if you're into crafts and things, I'm going to be doing these. Because I discovered these over the last few months and I think they're absolutely amazing. I mean, I know they did mini brands because um, Nerdy Craft has done mini brands uh, down there in the description. Uh, link to her, she's great. Um, but she hasn't done toy brands, so I thought I'd do toy brands. But here's a case with some toy brands in it. There we go. And if you're wondering what they are, basically you get an egg. Just like with the, just like with the mini brands, you get an egg. It's about so big. I wish I had one to show you. I don't, I'm afraid, because I've opened them all. <laughs> but um, about that big. I'll probably put one on the screen for you to have a look at. Here. Is you split the ball and then you get these sort of toys out of it. Now I can't show you how that works because I've already opened mine because that was a bit silly of me but I promise next time I get some balls I'll do an unboxing and opening and whatever and you can see how they work right. If you want to see how they work just look at Nerdy Crafter as well she's got mini brands that work exactly the same way. Anyway so I was just saying how am I doing? Well these these mini brands are either American or Canadian, I'm not sure which. They're certainly not British because I have never seen any of these in a British toy shop. Not once. I'm going to smize all the time, or Smiths, whatever you want to call it, all the time. And I used to go to Toys R Us when they were around and I have never once seen any of these. The only ones I have seen are the Jojo Siwa bows and I know I've seen them because they, they have them in Claire's. And I go in Claire's and I love bows. I have a whole bag of bows in my closet. I love bows. I'm not wearing one today, but I freaking love them. So I've seen Jojo Siwa bows. The only reason I don't buy them is because they're more expensive than your ordinary bows and they're just way overpriced. But they're lovely. I mean, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Anyway, so what about these? Well, first of all, once you've got a lot of them, you're going to get a lot of duplicates. I'll give you an example here. Here I have got like three shopping baskets. Ah! I've got all these shopping baskets and I've also got God knows how many shopping trolleys. But they are really cute. I mean, look at, look at that shopping trolley. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. You Americans don't call them shopping trolleys, do you? You call them grocery carts, I think. Well, grocery cart, shopping trolley, which is what we call it. Whatever you want to call it. I've got loads of them. <sighs> Too many, to be honest. Right. Now, once we get rid of the shopping carts and the shopping trolley, uh, the baskets. Give me a minute. Right. OK. I have one shelf. I've got plenty of shopping baskets and shopping trolleys, but only one shelf. And the problem with some of these is they don't quite get, you know, they're a bit big, so you can only get like one item on, t on top <laughs> like that. <laughs> but yeah, the shopping, that's a little sort of shopping trolley. Um, and some of the toys are really cute. I mean, this is a little sort of hamburger car with, um, I don't know if you can see this because the focus is probably a bit terrible, but anyway, there you go. That's SpongeBob SquarePants in a uh, hamburger car. Or you can have um, this guy from, the little red guy from Ren and Stimpy. I haven't seen Ren and Stimpy in years. I don't think they even show it on British TV anymore, so I can't even remember the names of these characters. I don't know which one, whether that's Ren or Stimpy. I have no idea. <laughs> so if you can tell me, please, I would like that. Um, and the problem is, when you get these, because they've only got five in, you're bound to get repeats of everything. Now, this little thingy I had here a minute ago, which has just dropped out my hand, there we go, this knoll thing, this little sort of knoll sort of unicorn sort of... Uh, it's a bit like a whale but with a horn. I think it's called a knoll. I have got about four or five of those. <laughs> it's really silly. 
there we are. One, two, <laughs> three. Um, probably find another one if I look hard enough. Give me a sec. Uh, there you go. Three. <laughs> Got loads of them. That is the only problem with collecting these things. They do, you do tend to get repeats. But they are really fun. They really are fun. Like I said, what we need is more collector's box because this collector's box is just adorable. See, it's got little, uh, little slots in that are made deliberately for the size of the thing you're putting in them. I mean, look at that Dora, isn't she? Isn't that, that's Dora, isn't she cute? Dora the Explorer. And there's a doll, big doll there, I think, that needs to go in there that I haven't got yet. See, and that side, oh, there she is. She's on that side. No, she's not. That's the thing that tells you what's in it. <laughs> There we go. So I've got a hoop and a Jodeo Siwa thing and a frisbee and uh, on this side I've got a car and a, that green thing which I think is a bottle of slime or something. And then I've got a dinosaur thing at the top. Um, and, a, and a Rubik cube at the bottom. Oh, that Rubik cube's gorgeous. I've got one of those actually, so you can have a look. Uh, give me a sec, in this little box of bits and bobs I have. Just one out of a Rubik's Cube. Yes, I have. There you go. Isn't that just the, like, cutest thing ever? <laughs> Isn't that great? Isn't that absolutely adorable? This little Rubik's Cube in its own little box. Isn't that just the sweetest thing? That is so sweet. Yeah. Oh, hang on. That, that doesn't belong on it. That... It's actually a bit of sticky from a sticker I put on one of my trolleys earlier. Right, there we go. See? In his own little box. How cute is that? <laughs> there you go. That is... Um, there you go, that is my little Rubik Cube. How cute is that? But I've already got one of those in this box, so that's spare. I've also got um, some of these things, I don't know, because like I said, they're only North American. For instance, Pets Alive. Has anyone heard of Pets Alive? I haven't. Um, what else we got in here? Oh, yes, a bunch of balloons. Whatever that is. <laughs> mm. uh, but yeah, the main uh, repeats I seem to get are the shopping carts and the uh, baskets. You know, there's just loads of them. But what I didn't get yet is that there's a little... And in America, instead of using carrier bags like any sane person, they have, like, grocery sacks. Apparently you can get one of those, but I haven't got one of those yet. That hasn't come up on my list of... Because you get a list in the packets, and I haven't got that one yet. So we've got plenty of baskets, plenty of trolleys, plenty of trolleys. No grocery bag. <laughs> oh, dear. Basically, yeah. If you want to see how one opens, just go and uh, look at Nerdy Crafter's uh, channel. Yeah. But hers are uh, grocery brands, whereas mine are toys. Oh, do you like the bag? The little tub, by the way. I think I bought that in uh, the range, I think. So thank you, range, for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's no. That's fine. Yeah, it makes, uh, Where's the front? There's the front. Slime, slime, little slimy. Yeah. So yeah, next time I have um this is my favourite so far, this little this little cup thing. That's so cute. <laughs> That's so great. Right. Um so next time I have an unboxing of one of these, like when I get it home and I pull the wrapper in the wrapper off it and all that stuff, I will show you what they look like. They are so cute. Um we need more of these. There is only one for the toy brands, and this is it. Like I said, there are only 30 spaces in there. Yeah, or at least I think that's what it says. Uh, little toy brands. Uh, find all 30 iconic minis to fill the case. They are. So 30. There are only 30 brand uh, things you can fit in here, and they've got about 120. So we need a new box. Zero, if you're listening, I need a new box, okay? <laughs> that fits these. Not the mini brands, these. But anyway, 
anyway that's my first video for coming back on my return to youtube and it's our next one's probably going to be about this as well i want to introduce you to my hamster but unfortunately he won't come out the cage at the moment so uh, but that's another story. Cats, hamsters, another video altogether. Okay. But yeah, mini brands, yay! These are gorgeous and I've fallen in love with them. So thank you to Nerdy Crafter for introducing me to brands in the first place. They're just wonderful. But she's doing the mini brands and I prefer the toys. So it's me with my toys. <laughs> so anyway, there you are. I'll see you next time. Bye!